Coming up in this episode. Good fish. Good fish. This one will be a whiting, I think. Holy. That'll be one. Lift him a bit. Horse. Horse whiting. 40 centimetres of broadwater beauty. This might be a big flatty. This might be the big flatty you just talked about. G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Welcome back to another video. Now as you can see, we are up on the shallow sand flats here and you probably know by now if you've watched my videos before that we're chasing some sand whiting. It's summertime, so it's nice and hot. And uh, we actually started the day anchored and wading the shallows, trying to get a couple. So I'll show you that action. We did get a really nice fish and a couple of others. So I'll show you that first, but to be honest, drifting today has saved the day. So this video will probably be a few tips on drifting and uh, a bit of action because dad's been on fire he's got a couple of nice ones and we're putting a nice feed together so far so we'll take you right back to the start and show you that really nice fish that we got up in the shallows it ate the bait right at my feet you you won't believe it but uh, we'll start with that and then we'll get to this drifting because we've been doing really well so i'm going to get a bait out there hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy and leave a comment if you have any questions let's get straight into it we got out nice and early to fish the running tide up onto the shallows. However, we could only manage a couple of fish for the esky. We thought it was time to switch things up and go and wade the flats for a little bit. It started off well when this thumper of a whiting ate the bait right at my feet. Right there. Be a whiting too, I reckon. Keep going better. Oh, yeah, might be a good whiting, whiting I think. Yeah, that's just it. Is. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, oh, it's a big whiting. Yeah, Want me to go and get it? It's a monster. Walk over towards the boat. He swallowed it. Okay, Should I just? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Got him. Oh, he ate that right at my feet. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice one. It's been a very slow morning, but uh, that one ate it right at my feet. I was slowly winding in, just about to lift my yabby out of the water, to be honest. And he uh, came through and absolutely smashed it. He swallowed that right down, and that's a very nice fish. Very fun fight in the shallows. A bit nervous when you don't have a net, but uh, yeah, he's a nice one. Happy with that. Now, even though we got that really nice size whiting, that was all we could manage. So we decided to change plans again and go for a drift. Just as we were leaving, a subscriber came over to say g'day though. Terry, give us a wave and I'll put you on the video. <laughs> Good on ya. Well, well done boys. Good luck. So that's uh, a guy called Terry. Jeez. A guy called Terry who watches the videos. We're out here fishing for some whiting today and he's come up and said hello. So they're getting a few whiting and flatheads, so good on them, that's awesome. So uh, if you ever see us on the water, guys, feel free to come and say g'day. We're always happy to have a chat. And uh, Terry, thanks for watching the videos and it was good to see you today, mate. Drifting is a great technique to cover ground and try new depths until you find some fish. Dad found one pretty quickly. Okay, I'm not too bad. He'll be all right. Yeah, it's a good whiting. Good on ya. Don't no, keep him in the boat. Keep him in the boat. That's what we want. The very next cast, he was on again. Oh, that is a better one. Do you want the net? Better fish. Need a proper one. Better anyway. Depends on what we've been getting. <laughs> the way we're going today, we do not want to lose any. Yeah, there he is. Giant, but he's solid. Yeah. Let him run if he wants to. Yeah. No, it is a nice one. He's alright. Alright. Okay. 
Well done, Dad. It's yeah. a nice one. Yeah, that's a good solid one. He put up a real good little fight in the shell, I think. Yeah, good fun. Yeah. Well done. Nice fighting. I tell you what, lucky Dad was on the boat because he was the only one putting fish in the esky at this stage. I don't know, it's a good one. Oh yeah, he's a nice one, Dad. This boy knows for his eyes. Well, he's going to be better than that. He's a fighter. Fighting, yeah. whiting. Still not a bad one. Yeah, not a bad one, but... Meanwhile, over in Deadville over here. Like, your, your bait is right next to mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Look, look at this. You hit me as soon as I get out there. What is going on? Yes. Why can I not even get a bite? As soon as I can get in there, I'm getting a bloody bite. <laughs> what is going on? Look, my bait's gone. I don't understand. Now, the beauty of drifting is, as I said, covering ground. You can fish different depths. You can drift. We're drifting the whole way down this whole sand flat here. Uh, covering different depths and different structures. There's a few weed beds and drop-offs and things like that. So you can cover a lot of different areas and try and find the fish. And uh, if you do, then you can just keep drifting over that area. We have located just further down here where there's a few holdings. So I think as we drift a little bit further into a bit deeper water, just down a bit further, we'll be onto them. But uh, we'll see how we go. What have I got here? Yeah, there, boys. Look at that. yeah, just laid on it. Gonna be a decent fish. Yeah. Decent flathead, maybe? Yeah, possibly. It's going. It might just be a good whiting. Yeah, it is. I got him. Got him. Swallowed it. Uh, good. He just sat on it. Yeah, he did like a flathead. There's another nice size one, guys. As you can see, they are so sandy here around these clean uh, sandy bottoms and clean water. Very, very nice fish. Not a bad size one for up in the shallows. This one hit. I'll get the net again, Dad. Oh yeah. Lift him up. Yep. I got him. Oh, they're good fish. Lift him out. Yeah, he's nice. The day and, uh, started out very slow. Um, we changed tactic and started to drift. And I'll just add while I'm here, I'll show you this. When we were fishing earlier on, we were anchored or over on the flats. I would, I started without a sinker. Uh, and then the current picked up and we started to drift so I just clicked on one of the click sinkers didn't have to cut my line didn't have to do anything just clicked it on that's what I've been using and this is the results nice whiting like this so they're quality whiting for the for the broad water they're good very happy with it look the technique for drifting guys is very simple and relaxing as you can see we're just sitting here you're still using the exact same rig you're just going to be casting it out the back So we're drifting up this way, casting it out the back and just letting it drag along. You want to feel that sinker bumping the sand so you know that your bait's on the bottom where the whiting are going to be. And uh, that'll be more like a dull bump. A bite will feel more like a pick or a pluck. So it can be confusing, especially for younger kids at first, but once you get the hang of it, very, very good. And sometimes that moving bait actually triggers the fish. So. Uh, as it wafts past them, they don't want it to get away and they'll come over and eat it rather than it just sitting there and they have a choice. So yeah, very, very good technique and it's very simple as well. Very relaxing, just drifting along, getting a few fish. Oh, oh, oh. Holy, <laughs> that'll be one. That's it? Yep. It's a whiting too. Is it? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, he's not bad. Didn't he hit? Look at that. Scoop him up. Look at that for whiting in the broad water. Yeah. Wow, we. Very nice. Very good whiting. That absolutely smashed it. They are good fish for the broad water, guys. And they're on the feed at the moment. They are. We've got to get Yabbies back out there. But wow, did that one hit. Oh my goodness. So fun. They're fighting so hard up in the shallows here, and it's so visual as well in this clean water. Seeing them take runs and uh, dig down when you're trying to get them to the boat. Very, very cool. Nice fish. Need the net or you're right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a flathead. Oh, is it? Yeah. It might be legal, but. Yeah, this will be legal, I think. Hang on then. Might be. It's a bit bigger. Oh, it's maybe close. not. close. I don't think so. Maybe not. Oh, here you go, close. There we go. There you go. Yeah, he'll go, he'll go close. close. Yeah. Drifting around the weed especially, guys. The flathead loves to lay on the edge of that. But uh, even just in the same areas as the whiting, if you're drifting, you can uh, pick up the odd flathead as well. I think he will be legal. I think he will be. So there we go, guys. Not a monster, but he is longer than that 40 centimeter ruler. He'd be about 42, 43 centimeters. So very nice. So guys, after you catch a flathead, it always pays to check your leader just above your hook because they do have really raspy teeth and they can uh, fray it up a little bit. And if that's the case, you should cut it off and retie it. Mine's fine because he wasn't hooked down in the mouth, he was hooked in the lip. So lucky me, I can just put another yabby on, but it's definitely something to pay attention to. You don't want your line to snap on a big fish. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice He's one. Oop, I'll just get him up. Another nice one. Yeah, beautiful. He smashed it. I reckon he was actually in behind those stingrays digging, hey? They are, look, look at that quality for the broad water. We bleed our whiting just like any other fish that we're keeping for the table. It's amazing how much blood comes out of such a small fish. I don't know what it is, it's the whiting, it's a good fish. Yeah, no, I think it is. Just let it run. Yeah. Like one. Yeah, no, I saw it. It's gonna be one. It is. Yeah, it's a whiting. Big one. Come on. Come on. Come on, play the game. It is a good fish. Yeah. He doesn't want to come that last little bit, hey? No. That's a good whiting, Dad. Just lift him a bit this way. No, okay. Wait. Lift him a bit. Horse. Horse whiting. <laughs> Dad, that is an absolute horse. That is a cracking whiting. Good fish for the broad water. Yep, very, very good. We're about to get another one. Hang on one second, everybody. Just wait. Sorry, guys, I just had to put the camera down for a second because we had another rod out. I just got another <laughs> another legal one. Dad's was 40 centimetres. What a cracking fish, especially for up in the shallows. That is, that fought that hard. Well done, Dad. Good stuff. 40 centimetres of broad water beauty. That is amazing. Good on you, Dad. Thank you. Bye, I'll just see, I'll have a look and see what the wind's gonna do anyway. It might have changed, who knows. There's another bite. You got it, oh, that's a good one. Double, I've lost it again. You got a good one, though. Yeah. Yeah. Another good fish. Yeah. I hate it when they do that. That's when they pull Yeah. That's another cracker. It's a nice fish. Yeah. I dropped two about that size, I reckon, just then. Yeah. At this stage, we were literally getting big whiting every single cast. Yeah. He's all right. He's Any all other right. day, he'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Now guys, when you are drifting and you locate some fish like we seem to have done here, you just want to keep drifting over that same area because usually there'll be more there and they'll usually hold in that area for a few drifts. So uh, that's what we're about to do. We're driving back up now. We're going to reset the drift. Don't and, drive uh, over the area you fishing. Go around. Yeah, Dad just said another good point. Don't drive straight over the area that you are fishing. Go around because especially up in the shallows, you will spook all those fish. Do a big arc around to the top of your drift again. Whenever we drifted past patches of weed, flathead were always a good possibility. Get him. Did we go close? We'll go close. I'm on. Oh yeah? I was on. Drop the net there. I got him. Oh no, something's going on. I'm going to have to tie another hook on because he's just bit me off. He'll be very close to legal. Yep, he's there. He's in, he's bigger than the last one. <laughs> there we go, couple of flathead as well. Guys, I've hooked a nice flathead here again. I actually dropped it and it's chased my yabby and hit it on the surface and I've hooked it again. Yeah, He'll be legal too. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I kid you not, that flathead, I had it on, I wound it in for 10 meters. It fell off. It flew in and hit the yabby again. What is going on? Everything is just smashing our yabbies today. It is insane. Good fish. Good fish. This one will be a whiting, I think. This is a really good fish if yeah, it's not I'll a flathead or stingray. Dave. Might be a big flatty. This might be the big flatty you just talked about. No, oh, no, it's what is it? Go on. Might be just a big whitey. Oh, what is it? I don't Something know. Long. Yeah. What are you got here? A whiting. Oh, <laughs> Where is it? Oh, you're right. He smacked it. <laughs> he swallowed it. He fought really weird, eh? I didn't know what it was when I it. That thing, as I just said guys, that's the next cast after that flathead. They are smashing everything. They are feeding so much. In fact, I'm gonna sit down after this session and note down every single thing that I can about moon, tide, tide height, everything. Wind, because this has been unbelievable. Wow, this is the best session we've had for a long time. Holy moly. Oh yeah. He'll be yeah, he'll be legal. Get him in here. Good on you, Dad. That's not a bad fish either. <laughs> there we go, guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. You won't get fishing like this very often. No. The fish were still biting their heads off, but it was time for us to go home. Dad had to have one last cast and catch one more fish before we went though. Fish cracker, cracker. Here was the final catch. We ended up with 32 whiting with the average size being absolutely fantastic and three bonus flathead as well. What a memorable day. Well, that brings us to the end of the video guys and what a fantastic session that was. As you can see, it's a rainy day here, but luckily for us, it was absolutely raining fish by the end of that session. 32 whiting and fish of that size up on the sand flats. What a session. Three bonus flathead as well. You can't go wrong with that. A couple of really good feeds for the family and a really, really memorable day out with dad. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and took some tips away. If you do have any questions, feel free to just leave them below in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your mates if you think it could help them as well. Thanks so much if you've watched this far. Until next time, tight lines and happy fishing.